Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, as you can see, I've been to the beach, got some color, um, but that is not why I'm showing you my face. Uh, because there's something special going on today. Uh, there is a special post coming from none other than Jesper Meerforce. Now, uh, in case you don't know who this is, just go to another channel. I, I mean, I'm sure if you're watching here Timmy, on Timmy Talks, you're an old school fan and you know who Jesper Meerforce is. But just uh, let's do a little recap, okay? So this man uh, was the first art director of WOTC. He's been working for Wizards of the Coast from the start of the company's existence all the way up to the year 2000. He has actually made the design for the back of the card together with Christopher Rush. Yes, that was Jesper Meerforce and Christopher Rush together making the back of the Magic the Gathering card, the card back that is still used today by Papa Hesbro, right? So this, Jesper Meerforce obviously is one of the original 25 artists, but he's had a huge, huge impact on the game. Uh, he was also the set and the art director of The Dark, and that's um, pretty unique for those days because The Dark uh, is actually one of the first sets that has one like art direction. When you look through it these days it's very common right there there there's a specific um idea that an art director has for a new set but back then it was a revolution it was completely new um to be completely honest with you i kind of like the freedom that old school artists get used to get because they don't get it anymore but um that's a whole other discussion to make a long story short jesper had a huge influence on the game and I'm super happy to uh, to get mail from him because I've ordered a few artist proofs that are in this package. So um, join me for the opening today in Timmy Talks in the Mail Day series. So uh, let's go. So here we go, exciting stuff. So this is the envelope. I'm gonna crack it open. Uh, if you'd like to order something from Jesper Meerforce, by the way, I'll put some um, information in the description below to tell you how I uh, got a chance to order some of his work, some of his artist proof cards. And okay, so it's double folded, it seems. Let's have a look. So I guess I'll cut it here, perhaps. Why not? Go for it. It took a while, obviously, for this uh, to get here. You know, you order uh, the cards you want to order. You order the the type of art you'd like to have done. And then it, it takes up to a couple of months before you actually get it. Okay, here we have something. So there is a little thing in here. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So it's very well packed, as you can see. So that's always a good thing. So far, I've only had good experiences, by the way, ordering things from uh, Magic the Gathering artists. It's always been very well packed. And okay, let's see, here we see, oh, that's kind of nice. My handwritten, my name, but also my address. So I'm not gonna show you that side, uh, but it's a quite nice touch. Open it up here. So these are the cards, I guess. There we go. Ooh, you can already see one of them. And uh, this is really cool, and you probably recognize it already. Oh man, why are why are cards that are so hard to actually play in the game some of the most epic? Why is that? Let me know in the comments below. Like, what is your like sweetheart? What card do you love to play? But you kind of know that it's not good enough. For me, for example, I play Pirate Ship in Timmy's Spellbook just because I just love Pirate Ship. I just want to cast Pirate Ship. open it up here we've got some cardboard protection and here we see that first card the mold demon the mold demon I should say was that very like I just the art of this card is just so funny it's so wacky it's so wacky uh, let's have a look is there more oh now I'm already showing the back of one of the pieces Wow this is amazing. Okay, I'm just quickly going to take it out. Wow, this is epic. This is so cool. Okay, so we've actually got two cards. So one is 
without art. It's just a blank uh, artist proof. You have to understand in magic, and you probably recognize this, you always have to make choices, right? So this is just a beautiful blank mint mold demon artist proof with Jesper Mirforce and the year that he signed it, Mirforce 21. It's a 6 6 from Legends. And just a beautiful card. And just, I'm just really happy to own an artist proof. And yes, obviously, I would have loved for him to draw a picture on every card, but. The fact is you always have to make choices, right? And everybody has a budget and I had a budget for one drawing and one artist proof. So this is the artist proof. Obviously this is also an artist proof, but with a picture of Jasper Mirfor. So let's uh, flip it around to see what card it is. And here we go. It's a clay statue, Antiquities. I'm a huge Antiquities fan. I've also made a video about my Antiquities collections. If you're curious, you can have a look. And, uh, and I've got some artist proof in the collection. And every now and then, if I have a chance, I try to acquire uh, a new card. And this clay, clay statue is um, is definitely one that's going to go in there. So four to cast for a three, one, two to regenerate. And uh, really nice. Again, that Mirror Force and the 21 of the year that he signed it. And let's take another look at that art here at the back. Let's just take it out. Ooh. <laughs> I just don't want to ruin it. It's so minty fresh. It's, it's unreal after all these years. Look at it. Man, and I guess this is the clay statue. Another clay statue. Kind of looks like the older clay statue. It's, you know, this is kind of the the younger version. And it's really nice. If you, if you read the novel, The Brothers War, um, clay statue is a pretty big part. It's actually designed by Thomas. He's the one that made the clay statue. And uh, not Urza, but Thomas made it. And Thomas, of course, was the apprentice of Urza, a former toy maker. Really nice. Okay, and that's it. That's another mail day video right here on Timmy Talks. And man, this was a special one. Look at the art on that. Jesper, thank you so much, man, for taking your time to make this beautiful piece. And also the Mold Demon. Epic, man. Absolutely epic. Super happy to own one. Uh, I would also like to thank Julie Mirforce because I believe you do all the logistics. So thank you for making sure that these cards got here in one piece in Amsterdam. And I'd also like to thank... Mark Aronovic, um, that is the person that is has a, a signing service on Facebook and he's the reason uh, why and how I got these cards. So um, if you're interested in getting in touch with great artists and getting artist proofs with custom made art on the back of them, check out Mark's Facebook page. I'll put those details in the, in the description below. So if you're interested in that, check it out in the description below for now thank you very much for watching and if you want to help the channel you know what leave a like leave a comment and you can also subscribe there's no subscribe button here maybe i can maybe i can make it that i say subscribe and there's a little subscribe icon right here that would be pretty cool i'm, I'm gonna try to do that you know i gotta gotta work on my game um anyway thank you very much for watching another episode right here on timmy talks the channel where we talk old school magic what shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus vind het dus zomaar gezien.